We, Myanmar, missed the MDGs, but how about the SDGs? This was the question asked by my WHO representative when I entered as consultant last year. The census 2014 showed that Myanmar's maternal mortality at the union figure is 282 per 100,000 life births. You will have disparities across the regions, and you, it, you can see that the, um, the highest is in Chin, and then Magui, and the Arawadi region. When we look at the union figure, 282, it doesn't ring a bell because it, the statistics translates into 2,787 women dying that year, which translates into eight women dying a day. So looking at this, it is important for us to meet the SDGs as a nation. Why did we miss, miss the MDGs? We can see here that the human resources are the most important element of the health system. Human resources the system is as good as the human resources are. They need to be available everywhere. They need to be trained, deployed, and retained. The WHO benchmark for meeting the MDGs is 23 per 10,000 population, whereas in Myanmar, we had only 13 per 10,000 population in 2015. And when you look at the health workforce, 30% of the whole health workforce is serving 70% of our population, which is the rural population. Why did we meet the MDGs? More, only 37% of the deliveries are, um, are delivered in the facilities, in institutions, and the rest are home delivered. So adolescent pregnancy rate has doubled within the last decade, meaning to say that our 15 to 90 year olds are getting pregnant by their doubling in number. And uh, abortion is still illegal in our country. So this all leads to maternal deaths resulting from consequences of uh, abortion. And we, when we look at the contraceptive stock situation, we have an alarming situation of 80% stock out in 2015 in the health facilities. So to meet the SDG goals, we have, there is some progress made in the last few years, in, from 1990 to 2015, but still we miss it. We still have 10.5 years to go ahead to meet the SDGs. However, if we go at this rate, we will not reach the goals. If we do business as usual, we will not reach the goals. This is a diagram that is the UN interagency um, mortality estimates. They estimated that we will miss our stillbirth rate, maternal mortality rate, newborn mortality, under five mortality in 2030, but reach only in 2036 for stillbirth to be one digit and for maternal mortality to be less than 70 by 2033, and then the new, newborn mortality in 2034, and under five mortality in 2032. So meaning to say that if we do business as usual, we will miss the SDGs by 2030. So how do we do that? The good news is that we have a solution. We have a solution, and the Ministry of Health, under the leadership of our union minister, is now taking into two, three-pronged approach. The first is institutional delivery. Women, when you look, analyze the causes of death, postpartum hemorrhage is the commonest cause. And when a woman goes into postpartum hemorrhage, she has 60 minutes to two hours to reach a higher level of facility to get rapid and robust intervention to prevent further bleeding and to save the life. So if we plan our pregnancies properly, plan the births properly, mobilize the community with the community health workers, auxiliary midwives, making sure that women understand that they need to go to our health facilities to deliver, we can save a lot of lives. 
because we have the census results, we now do stratified planning whereby the Minister of Health, together with the agencies and the NGOs, international as well as local NGOs, and ethnic health organizations, we used to work in silos. We don't talk to each other. Now, under the RMNCH strategic group, we come together to plan together. We've identified 16 townships where there is highest maternal mortality, the highest newborn death. And in those uh, town, townships, we are going to make sure that the community understands and come in for institutional delivery. The second prong is that making sure that the facilities are ready for, they have service readiness. When we say service readiness, we mean to say that human resources trained, deployed and retained in their station. The station hospitals and the township hospitals have a lot of vacancy rates. We need trained doctors, nurses, rural oriented, not high tech, but the 170 interventions have been identified by the National Health Plan. These interventions must be delivered when the people, when the woman comes to the facility. So the facility readiness means there is three elements in it. The human resources must be there. Number two, medicines must be there without stock out. The government has started to apply a logistic management information system. If we do not talk about a lot of high-tech, um, very co complicated systems, but if we have seven life-saving maternal and child drugs and medicines, seven contraceptives present in all the facilities without stock out, we can give very good service. So, number one, human resources. Number two, supplies and medicines. Number three, supported and supervised in a sense that when there is a need for transfer of the patient, when there is need for referral, the frontline workers must be supported as a team. Meaning to say that the six carders which work in the front line, serving the 70% of the population, need to have competency, need to have skills to deal with emergency, obstetric care, newborn care, and then all the life-saving head injury or other in oh, um, accidents and problems. So, Ministry of Health had start started to have A and E doctors, the acute medicine and emergency doctors. The maternal and death, maternal death surveillance and response and the child death surveillance and response system has identified ways and means, exact ways. Where did we go wrong? Why did the mother die? Every maternal death is not notifiable and for every maternal death there is a review analysis and then change, change for better response. And the third, supply readiness and then it's already said, there should be a financial system supporting whenever there's emergency for referral or to reach out to the patient. And the next element, the third element is point of care quality improvement. We cannot do business as usual. When there is a maternal death or a newborn or under five death, we need to analyze it, report it, and make changes in the system because without changing, we cannot improve. So PDSA model, I'm sure all of you know, plan the change first and do it, and then seek the data and analyze it again, and act again, on and on, and quality of care at the site of uh, service delivery improves better and better. If we stratify and strategize into these six, 16 townships with human resources, with medicines, with financing for operational costs, and then if we do continuous point, uh, point of care quality improvement, and if the community is mobilized to come to the facilities, we can bring down accelerate the annual reduction of these mortality rates and then reach the SDG goals because we, time is running out. We have 10.5 years to co reach all these things. In addition to all these things, human resources, I will stress again, 
the competency of human resources, the commitment, the, compa the compassion to save lives is the most important element. How do we change it? So professional education is now being, uh, being initiated. And this cadre of students trained by interprofessional education will go on to become cadres who will go out into the people doing collaborative care whereby people respect each other. Doctors, nurses, midwives, PHS2, lady health visitors, each have clear job description and they will respect each other, support each other so that the poor midwife alone does not without much competency is handling the PPH alone, no way. When it comes, when it's referred to the township hospital, the medical officer blames the midwife for mishandling the third stage of labor. This will not happen anymore because we are as a team, trained as a team, uh, deployed as a team, and then everybody will do their part to save lives and young children, newborn babies, women of reproductive health should not die giving life anymore. Thank you so very much.